Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, with our main uh, topic today in the breakfast show. Today, uh, we're uh, focusing uh, on uh, President uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi's uh, attending uh, the uh, ceremony uh, celebrating uh, the 71st uh, anniversary of uh, the police uh, day. Uh, during the celebration, uh, the president awarded and honored a number of the families of the mar martyrs uh, and also uh, the heroes of uh, the uh, police uh, in uh, Egypt. Well, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this uh, phone with Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning, good morning. Well, uh, Your Excellency, uh, what would you say uh, in uh, Egypt's celebration uh, of uh, the 71st uh, uh, Police Day and President Abdel Fattah Sisi's uh, keenness uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, for uh, Egypt also to hold uh, an event and a ceremony to celebrate uh, this special day? I must say I'm glad that we see the president very often to talk to us directly with different uh, positive messages about what is going on in Egypt, whether uh, politically or in our economic reform or how we are facing the challenges and we are receiving good opportunities also. And uh, thank God that our president is sharing with us the information and, and he is a good uh, person who watches what is going on on uh, many mass media especially the facebook and that sort of new ways of getting information and he he, he get uh, the, the the way in order to answer directly or indirectly sometime on the facebook itself i see his messages and yesterday it was full of many positive messages and I hope we, we, we uh, will be a good listener to what the president is saying because he is driving this country and I want to uh, help him in order to uh, drive our country to the right uh, track in order to reach good position economically, uh, politically for the sake of my grandchildren. And uh, some, something I want to say that uh, we, we shouldn't act as if we are the backseat driver. We have to share in uh, the uh, activities of our country and to ask uh, uh, good questions and to receive whatever the information the president is saying. Yes, uh, so uh, Your Excellency Ambassador uh, Bayoumi, also the President uh, during the ceremony uh, yesterday have awarded uh, and honored a number of uh, the families uh, of the martyrs uh, uh, who uh, took uh, uh, part in the Ismailia uh, battle on uh, uh, the uh, 25th of January of the year uh, uh, 1952, uh, which was uh, the day that we have has been uh, chosen to be uh, the police uh, day. Uh, uh, what does this show of the president's appreciation and Egypt's appreciation of its heroes? You will be amazed because I am of the generation who lived th those days. I, 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 I was already young enough. To, to know what was happening in Ismailia, what our officers did for their country, and they deserve every uh, way we, we, we tell them, we, we thank them, whether those who are victims to the, the, the battle or those who are still living and their families. Because it gives uh, the right message to all our people who are fighting everywhere in order to keep this country at the best position we can imagine. And re really, th th this is one good part of the celebrations yesterday, that we say thanks to those who did good jobs. And th th this is very important, of course. Yes, uh, so Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, during the celebration, the President said that uh, uh, the cooperation between uh, police and army uh, was able uh, to uh, stop the t uh, terrorism uh, in Egypt. And uh, very soon, uh, we are all going to celebrate uh, this, uh, uh, this event in uh, El Arish. Uh, so, uh, uh, please, uh, could you shed light uh, on the importance of the role that is played by uh, 
police in order to uh, be able to uh, stop terrorism in Egypt? Yes, because uh, of course the, the, the army is one wing defending our borders. The police is another army defending our inside uh, security. And they are doing, I, I must confess, they are doing wonderful job. We have witnessed many uh, challenges in this country because Egypt is always in the middle of everything. And of course, we, we, we appreciate what they are doing. What happened in Ismailia, it was a sort of brave men fighting for the uh, independence of their country. And uh, it's quite well known because Ismailia was in January 1952. It was a few months before Gamal Abdul Nasser revolution. And uh, some people would tell you that it was that w one direct cause for it. So, uh, the, 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 uh, as I said, the two wings of the Egyptian security are the army on the border, the police around us. And uh, really, I must say, at a, an old, as an old citizen, I have always positive uh, experience with our police. Respect yes. yourself. Go and do your, your duty. Be open. Ask them for help. And uh, I, I can give you plenty of occasions I have uh, tried to, to, to get the help of our uh, police forces. They were at my full uh, uh, thanks. And uh, here we, we have to cooperate with them also. Because to yes. combat terrorism, to combat uh, organized crime or uh, anything which is threatening our security, it needs a sort of cooperation between the individuals like ourselves and our forces, whether it is the police or the army. Yes. Uh, um, um, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, could you give us a hint about uh, the uh, uh, 25th of uh, January of the year uh, 1952 when the police uh, uh, officers uh, and soldiers uh, of uh, uh, the police uh, were able to defend uh, the uh, Ismailia governorate and uh, to defend the police uh, station uh, after uh, uh, the uh, British occupation uh, attacked uh, or wanted to uh, them to surrender and uh, 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 to hang over uh, the uh, police station and the, the government uh, building uh, and uh, the police uh, uh, the Egyptian police officers uh, rejected uh, and uh, they uh, uh, strongly defended the, uh, uh, the place and uh, uh, it resulted in the death of uh, uh, 50 uh, uh, of the police, uh, Egyptian uh, police uh, officers and uh, uh, 80 others were injured. Uh, could you give us an idea about uh, 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 this uh, memory? Let me tell you that the first time I came to Cairo when I was a child at 10 years old, I have seen the Tahrir Square with the place of the Arab League, the uh, Hotel Nile Hilton and uh, the uh, party those the three buildings and a good part of the garden of Tahrir Square, it was a British uh, military camp. And I have seen at this age the soldiers, uh, the British soldiers, playing football in Tahrir Square. I'm telling this for those who are uh, trying to see that whether we are in a better situation or that time when we were occupied in the heart of Cairo. I have seen uh, British officers playing football in Tahrir Square. I have seen British army in my city in, in Damietta, in Ras al -Bar, and they were uh, walking uh, with their military dress between us in Ras al -Bar, and they were really uh, quite obvious that this is uh, uh, an occupation force, and they were uh, treated as uh, uh, royal treatment. That, yes. that, that is the way I have seen them. Then, uh, when the, the revolution started in 2000, in 1959, uh, 52, sorry, uh, they uh, went to the Swiss Canal Zone and they have their uh, uh, place there. They didn't uh, show again in the valley. But still, 
they were in sort of confrontation with our army, with our uh, police uh, forces, and that was not a good practice at all. We have seen this when we were young and children, and that was not a part, a good part of our history, but our police forces in Ismailia refused that the, uh, for the British forces can do anything there or can give orders where our police was there. And they disobey what the British army was asking them to do. And then we have this battle of Ismaili where our army yes. was really yes. fighting for our yes. independence. I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your valuable information and uh, for uh, uh, telling us uh, the story and the, your memories uh, concerning uh, this uh, event. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, time. Uh, Ambassador Gamal Baryumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, I really had the pleasure to have this uh, phone with you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please stay tuned for more uh, on uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi's attending uh, the celebration of the 71st uh, uh, anniversary of the police day. Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We are still uh, focusing uh, on President Abdel Fattah Sisi's attending the 71st anniversary of the Police Day. Uh, to shed more light on uh, this, we have the pleasure to have this phone with uh, General uh, Ihab Youssef, security expert. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Manor. Uh, I wish Egypt all the best in this very special day. Thank you so much. Well, uh, General uh, Youssef, uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi was keen yesterday uh, to attend a ceremony celebrating the 71st anniversary of the police uh, day. Uh, give us your insight. Uh, what did you feel uh, yesterday uh, and uh, of Egypt uh, appreciating uh, uh, the uh, role played by the police uh, uh, officers in Egypt? Uh, at, uh, the, the police day is uh, a remarkable national day in Egypt, and the president has been uh, always uh, keen to attend this day in person and to address the nation and address the police officers and sergeants, giving the recognition for the efforts that they are doing and, and um, uh, recognizing uh, the, the martyrs and their families, recognizing the great uh, role that the police is doing for stabilization of the country and making it better uh, for better economy, better future for the people. So yesterday was uh, one of the tra traditions that uh, Egypt is witnessing for a long time. And uh, uh, on this special day, uh, what, what was remarkable yesterday also is that the president uh, first uh, recognized the efforts of the uh, police officers who were working uh, on uh, Ismailia on 1952 
and and he uh, celebrated their families and recognized the families in, in, in uh, like uh, Dr. Abdelkrim Darwish and General uh, uh, Salah Zulfiqar. He recognized the families and uh, saluted them, which was uh, a great uh, uh, recognition for for the people who had left us uh, to another world. And at the same time, he recognized for uh, that there was recognition for the family of the martyrs who recently passed away and people who were injured uh, and and uh, and and uh, there was a lot of talk about the great effort that the police is doing to make the country able to sustain its development and look for a better future yes uh, general uh, yusuf you've just mentioned uh, uh, the president honoring uh, uh, some names uh, who participated in uh, the battle of ismailia uh, january the 25th of january of the year 1952 which is the day that has been chosen to be the police day so it's uh, very important and among them uh, the uh, as you've just mentioned uh, uh, general uh, abdel hakim uh, uh, darwish uh, who was uh, for 10 more than 10 years the president of the police uh, Academy, uh, and uh, we saw the president uh, uh, shaking hands uh, and treating uh, in a very kind way his uh, uh, wife, uh, Dr. Layla uh, Takla. Also, uh, the president honored uh, the uh, name of uh, uh, General uh, uh, Salah Zulfiqar, uh, who actually uh, was uh, uh, um, uh, a professor uh, teaching. Uh, uh, in uh, the police academy and uh, uh, he asked his uh, uh, general uh, that he wants to go and uh, to uh, uh, fight uh, uh, in the uh, Ismailia uh, to fight the uh, uh, British uh, occupation. So uh, could you give us your insight concerning uh, first what does this show of the uh, personality of uh, the uh, police uh, officer? Uh, a second, uh, what does this show of the, the message that the president is conveying to the coming future, uh, coming generation and uh, the present uh, youth uh, in the uh, uh, police uh, who are very still uh, very young of how Egypt would appreciate so they should never hesitate to sacrifice their lives to Egypt? I really appreciate your question very much, and I would answer the first, the second part first, if you don't mind. Yes, the that, appreciation. Uh, the recognition yes. of the people who passed away, who, the people who do an effort to uh, uh, sacrifice their life or do a great job to uh, help Egypt to develop, and recognizing them even after they passed away by recognizing their families, this is something that built loyalty, one to the country, second to the organization that they are working for. So it's a, it's a great effort or a great movement that has been happening yesterday and, and, and I on a personal level and I think all my colleagues appreciate it very much because as I said, it built loyalty for the new generations. They see that even if, if the people pass away, they are not just forgotten, but uh, they are always remembered, the families are recognized, the country recognized the effort that they did. So this is from the side. Uh, well, going back to the first question about the capabilities and how the people working in the police are set up, it's, it's built on their momentum, it's built on their character that, that sacrificing even by their life is a, is a very small uh, thing that they can do for the country. But this, is, this never is done for free, it's done for the first to, to see that the country is developing, to see that the, their families and the future of the country is, uh, is in good hands and to make sure that their sacrifice is not going for nothing, but for building a better future for Egypt. Having said that, during the, the training in the police academy and, and the training that the officers and sergeants receive after this, they are always built up to be able to sacrifice by anything, including their life. Yes, uh, uh, General uh, Yusuf. Uh, also, uh, during the celebration, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said uh, uh, that uh, the uh, role that is played by uh, or the cooperation that took uh, place uh, uh, between uh, or the coordination uh, that took place between uh, the uh, police and uh, the Egyptian uh, army was able to uh, stop the uh, or put an end to terrorism in Egypt. What's your comment on this? As, as we all know, it's, uh, that these are the two wings for security in Egypt, whether we talk about the army and the police. So um, the cooperation between them has been always there, but the level of, of cooperation has increased heavily since uh, 2011. 
and and with this cooperation, it, we were able. Egypt was able to contain the, the, the and, and counter the terrorist activities that was happening in Egypt, especially after 2013. Well, um, this is this is something that we have always to remember that the sacrifice of the people who are working in the in the military and the police are are always recognized, and they did a great effort to do this. And we don't have to forget the people as well, the people of Egypt have also sacrificed their, 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 uh, their lives and, and, and sacrificed their security to be able to help the police and the army to combat terrorists. Till we reach this stage that we are in now, we feel safe, we feel secure in our houses, in the streets. We feel much, much, much less secure than before. This is one. From another point, as the president mentioned yesterday, the, the, the result of these sacrifices and the efforts that has been done from the two wings of security, as you mentioned, the, people, the police and the army. We, uh, um, uh, uh, Sinai has been, as, as the president said yesterday, nearly uh, free from terrorism, which means that uh, we have a great success if we are able to sustain this. On the other hand, the president mentioned that the, a big celebration will be happening in Rafah and Sheikh Zwayed to celebrate the achievement, and I hope that uh, we all are going to witness this and be very happy to recognize that Egypt is now, um, as much as we can say, safe from terrorist activities. Yes, uh, General uh, Youssef, uh, uh, also uh, if we go back to the memory of uh, the 1952 uh, on uh, before the day of the 25th of January 1952, uh, it happened that the Wafd uh, party uh, announced uh, or asked to uh, end uh, the uh, uh, accord of the, uh, the year 36. And it happened that the workers working uh, uh, in the uh, British camps left the camp and went to volunteer and to fight against the, the British occupation. So uh, tell us about the importance of uh, the um, uh, participation of uh, the, uh, the people of uh, Egypt uh, with the uh, police uh, during uh, the 25th of uh, January 1952. It's, it's, the, it's the man of the street who feels that his dignity was in danger at the time, especially after considering the Treaty of 36. And then uh, the people said that they are not going to serve uh, any kind of uh, support to the British colony. And, and they left, as you mentioned, their camps and they didn't work with them. Then the, the, uh, the, military, the, the British army started taking a severe action against the Egyptian people. This is where the people of the street started to combat their activities, and this is where the police started to join with the people and to give them weapons, to train them on how to use weapons, and, and the cycle started. Till we reached the stage when the British uh, uh, army asked the police to uh, give away the police uh, uh, headquarters, and to, um, uh, uh, but, but they refused to do so, and this is where the battle started. A lot of uh, police officers and sergeants were martyred and, and injured, and, and due to their uh, courage, encouragement and, and uh, uh, their strength in the fight against the British colony, uh, when, they, when they came out of their police station, the British uh, army gave them the uh, uh, military salute, and they recognized that uh, these are brave men, that these are heroes, they have to be recognized. And, and since then, the 25th of January is known as the police day because the people sacrificed their lives in, in, in protection of their dignity and the protection of the uh, land, Egypt land. Yes, uh, I thank you very much uh, for your time. Thank you uh, for your valuable information. General Ihab uh, Youssef, security expert, thank you very much for joining us over the phone. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for following me in this segment. My name is Amal Mukhtar. I leave you with my colleague, Maestir Abiyo.